assalamu alaikum hope you all are doing well so in today's session uh, we will see tcp load balancing right so uh, as you can see we have implemented uh, this uh, load balancing SATP load balancing in our previous tutorial so we will just recover uh, again what we have done earlier we had some servers and we had some proxy parse properties and we point out this upstream server right that's it that was the simple uh, configuration context of nginx so without talking so much let's jump into the tcp load balancing right so what actually we will do today uh, you know uh, my skill uh, is uh, with its client connected with tcp connection right it is not the http connection so we will use to mysql uh, and it, it will be uh, and on, we will load balance among them and it will be a, a very simple example of tcp load balancing okay so for all of this configuration and demonstration i will be using um, my docker okay so let's uh, zoom into it so as you can see guys i am in my uh, virtual machine 192.168.56.4 and 900 actually i am using port in our for docker management okay docker container management so for any kind of demonstration if you are using docker or docker compose then if you use port in our it will it will be a um, very good idea because you will have uh, some um, uh, user interface regarding you can console you can log on to them you can log uh, you can see the logs and you can easily exact into the that means enter into the uh, container and uh, and the great thing you can see the ip addresses without inspecting them okay so uh, it is very simple you can install uh, port in uh, like this port in install in Ubuntu. it's very simple just run the snap command or something this 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 is the one and this one i have the gripper and it's showing this result okay so i will put this same thing in my description for all the resource docker compose and docker uh, resource in my video description okay so i'm uh, i am actually using portiner in my docker in my in, in my virtual machine to see my um, containers okay so now let's uh, take the containers configuration as you can see i have my two database db1 and db2 and i have a load balancer nginx so the i i um compose of these three things in one docker compose here is my vs code and i have all the configuration here um, if you don't know how to um, open this remote uh, code in the vs code uh, you, you should install uh, remote ssis and uh, save as root to extension in your vs code okay uh, after then you will see some uh, icon in the, in the very left corner and you can clicking clicking on this you will be able to connect to the uh, particular folder in your remote desktop right okay so what i have done here here you can see i have my uh, database one and my database two they are in the same network layer for network uh, load balancing okay so i have my network i defined here and here as you can see i have my load balancer configuration okay it is also pointing on the 3306 so let's see how my load balancer configuration working as you can see here is also i am um, pulling from nginx and i am adding this nginx configuration in my overwriting this uh, etc slash nginx slash nginx dot count right so <coughs> so let me show you here here as you can see my uh, my endless configuration okay so i have my ndb1 and db2 as i mentioned in docker compose 
db1 on db2 and and it's 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 uh up stream is called app node and i am proxy passing this uh, um, my all request to the uh, app node okay so here is another configuration uh here up, up stream app node and this is this work uh, 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 fine okay so here is my db1 and i didn't put any name here okay so i think okay let me see okay so that's why it is it's not having any name so if i put a name here container right okay let me check this out in the internet docker compose service name so container underscore name right so that is the container name okay and here is the okay so here is the container name okay so let me let me up this docker compose again let's see mapping values are not allowed here okay line six. Oh my god here is a problem so it should be there okay 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 it's taking a little bit time i think it's been done here if i restart now as you can see my container name is okay db1 and db2 right fine so so what i did in my engineers configuration is very simple and i i think uh, i don't have to explain all these things uh, but if you want i can explain the user is nginx and worker process is automatically defined we can put one two three something like that and even block is worker connection number of worker connection maximum number of worker connection this is steam and we have a steam app node and server and server defined to server okay and here is the server location listen 3306 okay so here is the similar configuration but i used this one in my docker file as you can see okay fine so now how we can check uh, this configuration working or not okay so if i open my uh, my school workbench and okay i am connected let me show you here is my uh, oh shit it's connecting directly i have to click on the edit option to show you the uh, mysql configuration edit connection okay so as you can see i am using this uh, my um, vmip and my port and my username and my password okay and the mysql configuration if you if i show you here is the mysql configuration here is some init tv uh, sql yeah, so when the mysql will up and running it will run this queries and it will create user t underscore user and a password and it will grant all prevalence okay so here is my docker file okay that's it so <coughs> so i am i am copying the user sql the init db so while i will the mysql container will up uh, it will also run this user sql also okay so it is it's, it's not our context today how this mysql configuration but uh, if you if you focus on the engineers configuration that's enough okay we have to server and we, we are using some steam context and writing module and here this uh, this two are the child uh, regarding our steam is the parent module okay so now if i uh, connect if i connect and 
I will show you here I have uh, in my two database I have uh, the similar kind of database that means DB okay I created a database in both of my my skill DB and the same num same name uh, table tutorial tutorials table but the content are different as you can see it is now connected to the DB one and my another client uh, let me show you it's db bar okay so it's db bar if connect with the db bar it should be uh, connected to the database too as you can see my content at db1 i put it my uh, content uh, in in database one as db1 in database two is db2 okay so if i connect you will uh, unable to understand wh which mysql connection the uh, it's using but if you click on the database content it will show you the db2 okay that means it is load balancing round to robin uh, in the round robin process uh, my and one connection or one client is connected to with the db2 and another client is connected to db1 okay so that's it mm, uh, if i if i show you here this is my uh, db1 so i have to enter my skill dash u t underscore user dash p and password is password okay so use tb and now select from tutorials table t u t o r e l tutorials underscore t b l okay so as you can see it is its content is db1 and db uh, db1 and as like as i put uh, same type of uh, content but it's db2 and db2 okay so this that's it it's very simple mm, like uh, uh, it's tcp load balancing we are using just uh, two server and they are connected with our client with tcp connection okay so thank you all for stay connecting with me in the next tutorial we will see some udp connection so till then, bye-bye. Uh,